are all the grown-ups? The world is full of children. What are we going to do? Anything we like. We must travel to the Spartacle Project and realign our dimension with your dimension. What are you doing? Trying to reactivate my powers. <gasps> your blue heart was poorly, so they gave you a new heart. And that's why you're still here. Because you've got a child's heart. Go over to the university and make it fast. It's from Anita. Come out, come out, wherever you are! So, Callum, give up and get home. Callum just used you, Cat. and look for a new fan belt for the van. But Sadiq, I can barely walk. <sighs> Here, first aid kit. One of those posh cars is bound to have one that fits. Come on, let's go. Radio Rebel. Radio Rebel calling. Anyone copy? A tribe called the Spartacles just entered Manor School. Anyone heard of them? Radio Rebel. Radio Rebel calling. Anyone copy? A tribe called the Spartacles just entered Manor School. Anyone heard of them? For info on the Spartacles tribe. Particles with an S. Anita! Ah. Anita! I found them! I found the Spartacles! Someone knows where they are! What a bunch of scruffians. Well, Jeremy, we're short of prefix since Ernesto rebelled. Was expelled? Which one do you suggest? Definitely not him. Thief. What about the girl in orange? I can't admit girls. Father was most definite on that. What about him then? Yes. He looks like a good sort. I'll deal with him. You get rid of the rest. They're all locked. Sadiq, I don't think the school is as deserted as we thought. Refreshments, anyone? Oh. I'm so sorry. It's OK, don't worry. So, what brings you to Manor Grove? I thought it was deserted. Otherwise, I wouldn't have tried to steal a car. <laughs> Looked pretty handy at it, too. Actually, we need a new fan belt for our van. Get maintenance onto our guest van? While it's being fixed, how about a shower and a hot meal? Lunch is finished, but we can rustle something up. And uh, if you'd like to come with me to the office, we can see to that wall wound of yours. Thank you. We'll soon get you sorted out. Got... Watch it, you. You're running out of lives, butterfingers. What does a secret entry code look like anyway? Frankie, that's the wrong pile. Why are you so sure that the entry codes to the Spartacle Project are in this room? 
Because this is Dora's room and she was one of the scientists on the project. But the code was secret. She would have memorised it. Nope. Dora has a terrible memory. She wrote everything down. But if we do find it, how are we going to send it to the questers? We're working on how to send messages to Radio Rebel. Just keep looking. Liam, I sorted that. Now I'm going to have to do it again. Hey, you two go and have an explore. I was hoping you'd say that. Come on, Liam, let's go peek in all the other offices. It's better if it's just us. Anita better be right about this code. I've forgotten how bossy adults are. Put that there. Anita's not really an adult, though, is she? She's got the transplanted heart of that 14-year-old boy. That's why she didn't disappear with the adults. Shame if you'd ask me. She's on our side, T. Anita might be a total nightmare, but she badly wants the quest to succeed. <sighs> One, she hates kids. Um, slight problem given the current circumstances. And two, her fiance is missing in a parallel world. Oh, who could love that woman? There's someone for everyone. If we use Earth Moon Earth transmissions, we might just be able to talk to Radio Rebel. Switch to Moon Bounce. Anyone else would think Moon Bounce is a hair project, but of course, I know better. Shut up and spin the saucer. Stuff. Why? What's happened? Jordan saw her exploding a pine cone when we were at the canal, using her mind. Really? Reese? Oh, I'm sorry. Really sorry. It's fine, it's only water. Over here, Butterfingers. Sadiq, I don't like it here. The weed is warming up for one of her tricks. What if they're not tricks? Oh, not you as well. And where's Jordan? I mean, how long does it take to put on a plaster? Because this is the second time you've screwed up. Here we've got Harry and Adam teaching Latin to Phineas and Will. Yeah, okay. Very important yeah. to keep languages going or they'll die out. Latin's already died out, hasn't it? It's what Julius Caesar spoke. That's true. <laughs> so calm and relaxed in here. Life on the road sometimes really sucks. Your van is taking longer to fix than we thought. How about a game of cricket? Cool. We have a visitor joining us for cricket. Over. Watch that. Over and out. Call him Radio Rebel. Jordan's taken care of. The rest are heading out. Send up the smoke signals. Copy that, Callum. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Having a taste today. I've always wanted to know what it would be like to go to a boarding school. <laughs> Get over yourself. Jeremy said I could get a scholarship. What for? Whinging? You're just jealous. I fit in here and you don't. Who do you think you are? This place has really gone to your head. Too good for us, are you? Maybe I am. Well, maybe this place isn't so perfect either. Hi. Hope your Googling's OK. Travis always says that. I... As soon as Jordan's here, we'll be off. Thanks, Jeremy. I really appreciate this. And for fixing the Sparty van. Where's the boy who dropped the tray? You know, the one who spilt the water? Uh, Reese, go help the others, please. The day! Hey, Jeremy, the gate! 
Yes, attention. Hey, Jeremy! 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 Don't worry. We'll look after Jordan. He wants to stay with us. Jeremy! There's just no way Jordan would have left us. Something's wrong. We just need to find Jordan and get out of here. The intercom's busted. There must be another way to get into the school. Let's drive around the perimeter. Come on, let's go. Receipts for cheese and onion crisps. Dora must have had bad breath. Here, Jeffrey! We've made a film! Come and see it! We can't. There's so much left. But it's really good. Nobody cares about your stupid film! We're trying to save the world! That could be a good title. <sighs> She looks like she's got bad breath. Hey, Jeff, listen to this. Professor Dora Petty is working on a project so important the location is a secret, and the Spartacle project can only be accessed by voice recognition security. Voice recognition? It's not a code we need. It's her voice. We're stuffed. <sighs> Back to the laundry now. And be quick about it! We send out scavenging parties to look for fuel. Need plenty of it to keep the laundry running and the pupils looking our best. That kid was bent double. Why would some kids choose to do that when they can play cricket and stuff? They don't choose, do they? Everyone to their place. And a place for everyone. Welcome to Manor Grove. I'm not staying here. I need to find my tribe. But. They've already left, without you. We've been the whole way round and there's no other way in, except that gate. I'm not getting a good feeling. This isn't just a school. It's a prison. I'm really worried about Jordan. Look! Greetings to you and your compadres. Viva la revolution! Viva! It's just us. No adults. That's right. Honey, you've lost a parents. I think you'll find my beaten them. Liam, how'd you make that man's voice? We found this, lying around in Professor Barker's office. Give me that. A lack of computers in the department is hampering analytical ability. I'll finish this when I've eaten. What if that actually is Cat's dad? Professor Barker? Lead scientist on the Spartacle project? It is. Then who needs Doomsday Dora to activate the door to the Spartacle project if we've got Professor Barker's? <laughs> Yay! Yes! <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want us to join your revolution? That is correct, compadre. You are the reinforcements we need to take on Jeremy and the cadets. Until victory. Always. 
Ernesto? Yes, my Chi-Chi. Who exactly are you? I was Jeremy's deputy and best friend until the day of the disappearance. Jeremy became obsessed with keeping everything the same as it was before. He tried to do the right thing, but instead did many wrong things. Things so cruel, it will inflame your heart and inspire you to rise um, up. Just the facts, Ernest. It's Ernesto, Ernesto. Come on. I mean, did you not wonder how boys at that school lived like little princes, hmm? Because other children are their slaves and servants. I tried to change the rules from the inside, but there was no reasoning with Jeremy. Just because the adults are gone doesn't mean you could do anything you want. Are you listening? No. It is impossible. I had to leave, knowing one day I would return. I took four simpatico prefects with me, and since then we have been sleeping under the stars and living from the land, managing as best we can in a harsh climate. When was this? Uh... Last Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> no matter. The day of the revolution has come thanks to your arrival. My war is your war. If you wish to free Jordan, you must fight alongside me. Hang on. Free Jordan? Our double agent picked Jordan out to stay at the school, so the rest of you will be forced to rescue him. And fight alongside you? We've been stitched up. And, uh, who is this double agent? I believe he is known to you. Jeremy thinks he is his right-hand man, but Callum has the heart of a rebel. Callum? We recruited Callum when we caught him stealing from us, persuaded him to the cause and sent him to sign up more boys. Callum knew he couldn't just ask you. He said you wouldn't trust him. Yeah, too right. I wouldn't. So you and Callum set this whole thing up between you? And put Jordan in danger. That's very sneaky. So you blackmailed us into helping you, both you and Callum? Oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ernesto, you should have asked us. Not Callum, you. You are right, my Chi-Chi. I have not acted in the noble ways of the revolutionary. I am sorry. We will fight the good fight alone. I'm getting a message. Radio Rebel, we know the Spartacles. Are they with you? Again. Radio Rebel, we know the Spartacles. Are they with you? Frankie. 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 My stepsis. Frankie. It's me. I need to speak to Sadiq. It's very important. I'm not sure how long the moon bounce will last. Anita, what is it? When you get to the Spartacle project, you need to get through a voice-activated door. We've got Professor Barker's voice here on dictaphone. This should get you in. The lack of computers and topologies and bring analytical ability. I'll finish this when I meet. Dad. But you'll need to find a way of collecting the dictaphone from us. Why can't we just make a recording of it here? Because the quality is already poor on the tape. And another generation will degenerate further. And it won't fool the machine. How are you going to fix the We're losing the signal. I'll try resetting the moon bounce. It's no use. We've lost the connection. Call Radio Rebel. Who's that? Sounds like Helen. Very cry from the Argentina. Calling Radio Rebel. What are you talking about? A revolution. Shipment's about to leave. Jeremy is shipping out the unsuitables. Children deemed so useless. Even the laundry is too good for them. They'll be dumped like dogs. Dumped like dogs? Yeah, it's working. Let's storm the barricades. Everything's under control, Father. Everything's under control and in order. Today is the day we free the oppressed. Says who? We're going into battle with a bunch of dropouts on the order of Callum. Why are we helping them? Because of Jordan. And because even though Ernesto set us up, he's still trying to do the right thing by those kids in that school. If something's wrong, you can't just stand back and let the others sort it out. Spoken like a true revolutionary. Approaching the gates. OK, Callum, we're ready. What's going on? You saw what Jeremy has going down in the school, didn't you? It's got to stop. Jeremy can't keep dumping them suitable kids because they don't fit in. Oi! Don't stop there! 
Ned, you blocked the gate open. I said move it, quick! To victory! Away! Victory! There's a lot you don't know about me. Of the gates. Now we must storm the school. Good Padre! Jeremy, you must stand aside and allow a democratically elected body of pupils to run the school. Answer me! Why should anything change? Look, there are no protesters. Everything is calm. You've locked them up like animals. You're a troublemaker, Ernesto. What have you ever done except walk away? It's easy to spout all this stuff about freedom and democracy, but it's harder to stick at things and work hard. Maintain standards! <gasps> Round up the rebels and the traitors. Escort them off the premises. Dump them, you mean? I'm worth more alive to you than dead! Be quiet! Listen to John! John is Jeremy's brother. He hasn't spoken a word since the disappearance. Terrible shock. You're speaking. But he's not speaking. His voice is coming from that PA system. It's Reese. She's letting us hear his thoughts. Daddy would have been very angry with you. He wouldn't have done things this way. But I was doing it for the best, John. I was trying to protect you. By locking me away. I had to hide your weight. Because... Because you're... Unsuitable. Your own brother is unsuitable. So you broke your own rules to protect him from being dumped on the side of the road. I'm unsuitable too. Why didn't you load me onto your stupid truck and dump me? Come on then, dare you? Jeremy's brother's voice come out of the speakers. Come on. What if she can look inside our heads? I'm spooked. Look at her. Sadiq, I want to help you. Sorry. Can't pay you. Got no money. You're just a mercenary, Callum. I saw Ernesto paying you to help him. So what? 
The cash will come in handy if the adults come back as quick as they left. Oh, forget it, Callum. I don't trust you. <sighs> you need me. How else are you going to get the dictaphone? You really going to drive hundreds of miles back to where you started? Are you? What's in it for you? The chance of being a part of something good. What did you say then? You got a lot of driving to do. Who says I'm driving? Right, Kat, you're the scientist. Check it over. I think you'll find us all there. You're not, though. You're mad. <sighs> I don't like you, but I don't want to see you crash and burn. No chance. See you at Black Tool Mine. Good luck. Hang on. Take care of yourself. Have a safe flight. Slugs to eat my veg. I arrest your suspicion of stealing. And didn't you say maybe giving evidence against you? I'm Muna. Oh, Come on! Muna! I'm watching you. 